See probably our thumbnail by the title. We got the Z01. It's not just a normal Z01. This thing is rare. So don't mind my mouth, man. I have allergic reaction, so my mouth is kind of swollen. But we're not gonna look at me. We're gonna look at the car, and uh, let's get the video started. Let's go. All right, man. We here with my guy Andrew. What's up? You see what's behind me, man? What what year is this? It's 18. 18. Yeah. It's a rare car, though, right? It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. What's the color called? It's called Arctic Blue. Arctic Blue, man. So, and it's supposed to be how many of them? made so they made like 52 of the z01s total in this color and then supposedly according to a gm engineer okay they made 12 in that one at least supposedly 12 in this color if y'all don't know it's, this is probably my dream car one of my dream cars besides that z6 it's just look at it man matter of fact let's do a b-roll man you guys see it i turn my head around man got a little hot out here you guys see it? you see this bad boy man we're gonna talk more about this car real quick and then we'll do the ride along i know that's what you guys are here for we're gonna get to start up in a ride along but tell us a little more about this car what you was telling me before yeah man so it's a 2018 uh just bought it from the original owner back in april yeah and uh warranty is about to expire mm -hmm. so we've got some goodies coming on the way <laughs> we got a two inch american racing header system going to uh stock muffler uh, it's gonna be a long tube, and I want to keep the OEM look. You know yeah, what I'm for sure. I, I do road race or track this car, mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to keep it pretty mod light, a little, yeah. a little bit cool for the track. But, right. You know, uh, may, we'll see. May get an, e, an E50 mix up in there. We'll, we'll, we'll see. About Ooh. That. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, you know, LT4s love that. Yeah, LT4s they do. Love that. So this wing, it, it comes with the carbon fiber yep, wing. Yep. So this is the one LE. So. It comes with this uh, carbon fiber wing, and then it's got, um, you know, it's on these 19s, fronts 305 size, rears 325. Mm. Um, it's a 19 by 11 front, 19 by 12 rear. Uh, the brakes between the base deal one and this deal one, I believe are the same. It's just, these are red. Okay. The one at least. Yeah, right, right. It's just, you know, I'm a rice rocket. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I like doing. Um, but then, you know, it's got the, of course, the, the dive planes and the yes. air package up in the front. Yes, yes. Um, and one of these came with a wrap like this. Um, and underneath this, I mean, underneath it's just the, it's the Arctic blue. Okay. The wrap. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And, um. So wait, wait, it comes wrapped from factory like? Yeah, that's factory. And so when you, yeah. you're saying we hit the hood up, it's still got that blue up underneath Yeah, it. still got the blue up. That's underneath. crazy, that's so crazy. Right but, um, you know, there's a couple other bits and differences but um mostly this is a track focused pulse <laughs> so, i was just telling like i was just telling you man this is my first time well, will be my first time hopping in a z01 yeah this is crazy dang man sheesh well, oh I yeah screw it up no nah, no nah, man <laughs> but one of the biggest change points is really just the suspension mm -hmm. uh this is the multimatic uh suspension so if I want to do track camber, I just remove this pin, mm -hmm. obviously unscrew the damper bolts. You can twist this 180 degrees and it'll actually be a uh, track camber uh, oh. will pop, will, until, you know, it, it'll pop up in this window mm -hmm. and then you can just tighten it back down and then you gain a couple degrees of camber and then obviously you'd want to go back and do your alignment, make sure your toes all good. And That's crazy. Good. I did not know that. Yep. Okay, man, you filling me in with some goodies, so, man. There's some, there's some, there's some good, I mean, it's a spool damper valve. so. Man, you're gonna want to have back surgery after you ride it. Okay, it, okay. It's but it's it's not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. But it's it's definitely definitely you feel every single crack in the road. Dang. So this is your daily though. this is daily driver. No. no okay, this good. Is not my daily. Okay, no, good. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, man. <laughs> no, Jeez, no, no, no. man. I'm not that lucky. 
not that lucky. Oh yeah, man, you lucky you got a daily driver in this, man. That's crazy. It blessed, man. For sure. So the difference, you see my fifth gen over there, just the RS, but you see the difference between the fifth gen and what this sixth gen, right? Yeah. And look at the look. I mean, of course it's the top of line sixth gen we're looking at. But we go from where they came from all the way to now. Everything is the same on the side profile, right? So it's like you look at the side, and if I replace my bumpers, we look like the same car. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. crazy. Like Chevy is smart. Yep. Chevy is smart. Yep. Way better than yeah. Mopar. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, man. But this thing is beautiful, man. He's had it since you said what May. Yeah, April. April, yep. April. Had it since April. And um, you used to have a. I had a GT 350R. Yeah. And I bought that, and I, don't get me wrong, I love that car. Right. It's a great car. Yeah. Just uh, Ford paint, you know, there were some problems with the paint I, I was kind of upset about, but David Kendrick actually took care of that over okay. Slick Obsession. He helped me out big Yeah, for that. sure. Shout out to Slick Obsession. Yeah, he's, he's a good, uh, good guy. That's but, my guy, man. Uh, he, uh, we were talking, and I was actually looking for a, a ZR1, a C6 ZR1, and this thing just kind of popped up in Atlanta. Yeah. And I was like, man, I've never seen that color before. Right. So let's go check it yeah. out. Yeah. And then I started, you know, getting reviews, and I was like, okay, I knew it was an LT4, and mm -hmm. then it had, you know, it's 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 a wet soap, not the Z06 dry soap. Okay. So, um, but, you know, Z06, the earlier years, I believe they came, they worked it out, but the earlier years had the, the cooling issues on track, and thanks to this, big old smile on the front they don't really have much cooling issues no nah, not at all LT4 not here, at all so. just the lowering like it just it looks so mean man it you is can't... this it does have more of a, it's the most aggressive kind of look I've, Heck yeah I, I really honestly is and i'm i really am not one for uh bigger muscle i respect them mm -hmm. i just never i never really was big into american muscle yeah but then when they started coming out with the GT 350s and the Z01s, right. especially the track variants of those. I was like, I'm gonna give those a try. So and, you really have some the the 350R guys. This man had a 350R. So okay, comparison between this and the 350, what like? Oh, what's what's? Man. Uh, all right, all right. The best I could sum it up. Man, I'm not Jeremy Clarkson, so I'm not good at this. Okay, but okay. The, be the best, the best I can sum it up. GT 350R had some soul. And okay. It really does. It, it's got the singing soul. Throw it. It really does. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. But. This is just a workhorse. Yeah, so if you push, this, push. This thing, I can just get it done. It, don't get me wrong; it still does have to. It, it's a whiner. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It definitely still, it still does have some soul, but it's just, it just, it's more of like I'm gonna tell you what to do, and you're gonna do it. <laughs> and the 350R does feel like that too, but it was more of like a I'm just gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna have fun doing it, but yeah. it's not gonna be necessarily the, the fastest. And they're quick. Don't get me wrong. But right. this thing is. Uh, things different a little bit just it's just a different perspective just different. it's just a different different cars different car. both both are incredibly incredible cars yeah. but uh this thing is crazy man i think you ready to go for a ride let's, it, let's get in this thing man i'm so excited guys y'all don't understand this is probably one of my this is one of the dream cars i would want it's this a c6 and then we go up into the supercars but like this is probably what my next goal would be as far as getting into another camaro man so let's get in the car and i'll turn camera go Oh, I did. Oh, okay. I gotta get a. No, no, no. I gotta get a rev. All right, all right, I, I'm gonna close the door real quick and get one good rev. All right. Jeez. Yes, sir. Man, that thing sounds beautiful. Look at all the carbon fiber. Okay, let me get in the car. Uh huh. Is just the interior for sure the 350r interior was you know a lot like the other mustangs nothing wrong with them yeah it's just this has a little bit more updated stuff uh and i know you know 350rs they were trying to go for a track focus so i'm not saying it's better or worse it's just i'm just pointing out the differences right interior lighting i really like um i love the controls here i yeah. think this is extremely simplistic i think they did i think they just knocked it out of the park um heated cool seats so a little more creature comforts and i know some purebred guys are more like ah oh, who needs those things <laughs> yeah uh, and that's true i mean I, I can get behind anything you know I, yeah. I can support anything but i just like their twist on everything i do i do i like the twist i mean well, it's nice to have you know yeah. what i mean why who would complain about some nice right. features right i mean that's exactly that's nice man exactly now we'll say the 350r definitely felt lighter than this car okay okay but um 
with the alignment with, and the track alignment, it's, it's crazy. This thing just this crazy. thing just grips and pulls the ladder. Man, mm. how many? What tracks have you been to yet? Just uh, so haven't actually been to the track in this car yet. Oh, Barber's would be yeah. a good one so to go to. Barber is the uh, first one um, that's going to be in this car. Yes, um, sir. Usually, I've, I've gotten, I've been able to go to VR Road Atlanta and Barber before, but it's not, it's not in this not car. this car. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's nice, man. Your back seats are way better than mine. Yeah, so it's got some back seats. Um, <laughs> thought about just a rear seat delete. Yeah, yeah. You know, nothing really coming out there. Not at um, all. I was, I wanted. For red, some reason, I want the red belt. Hey, you know I you can get that done. You can still get that done. Yeah, but yeah. I want it at factory. True, you know, true, just, true. But with this color, I'm not so sad. If I was, if I was gonna get a black car mm -hmm. or a white car, yeah, I definitely would want. For sure, it'll pop. Belts. It'll pop. It'll pop. But right now, it's, it's fine. It's like you got the Recaro season. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> if I got the Recaro season, man. I know it. So it didn't. Um, I didn't prepare accordingly to do a full technical in-depth review. But mm -hmm. you know, you basically. You've got uh, your touring mode, your sport mode, mm -hmm. your track mode, and then a snow and ice mode of, uh, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's valet. Yeah. <laughs> so you can turn traction control off with a button, and then you can hold it, mm -hmm. and it'll turn completely off. Um, there, It's kind of tricky to get to the actual traction menu, but if you do like a, you can like get, yeah. So if you do a double click, you can, um, I'm in track mode, but you can then change wet, dry, Sport one, sport two, and then your race. And of course, all this does is just change your VSA settings okay. and how the car responds to more grip. Let's, you know, is it going to allow more wheel slip? Um, yeah. Things like that. So, um, some pretty cool dash stuff, just oil pressure. Yeah. That's one of the things in this car, um, in the early LT4s, the oil pumps go out. Yeah. So, K Tech has a really nice fix for that, okay. their, their oil pump. So, um, Man, these, yeah, these so, seats are nice, man. It's nice. It's cooling me off real well. <laughs> <laughs> it's cooling me off real well, man. Good dude. Goodness Good gracious. Dude. And it's manual, guys. You already know with the Z. So, what the yeah. Z01s? Do you know all of them come manual? Um, so, the 18 1LEs all came manual. Okay. Uh, but I believe in 2019, I think is when they came out with the A10s. I okay. think. Don't quote me on that. Okay, okay. I think so. Just, a, we just no, throwing something out there. We don't yeah. really know that one. This, I, you're right, bro. I feel everything. Oh, my God. Bro. Feel everything, oh, my God. You feel everything. This is crazy. Um, and Dang. I really like uh, the Rev Match. Ooh. feature mm -hmm. it feels good i didn't think i'd actually like it um in the shelby it was a little bit harder to heel toe uh, -huh. uh just because it was a top mounted uh throttle um accelerator pedal right but this is floor mounted so it's a little bit easier to heel toe okay um uh, but i, I don't to be honest i take the easy way out i don't really heel toe anymore um uh -huh. <laughs> it hey, just rev matches hey man that's easy you got it might as well use it that's right yeah for sure yeah. This is crazy. Like, it's so stiff, guys. You don't understand. This is like, I feel every single pebble on the ground. <laughs> That's cool, though, at the same time. Never felt that. Even when I rode in that Lamborghini, yeah. the suspension in that was pretty, it wasn't that stiff. Yeah. yeah. But it was like, still, you felt everything. But this is on a level 10. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It, it really, really is on the next level. Um, you know, also on the Camaros, it's been, they've been growing on me. They look like, just like a like a chopped roof kind of car you know this the slim line yeah you know, it, it really hasn't been that hard to um see out of okay i thought it was gonna be much worse yeah um but i feel like you know, i mean people that complain about the blindsidedness and the i mean it's there don't get it wrong yeah. but at the same time you know how to drive your car you know your car you know what angles to look for right um so it's not that bad to me either when i drive mine but i feel like mine may be worse than this one <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy man it may be a little bit worse, but I'm, I'm on passenger side, so I really don't know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. it's still there, guys, so don't get it wrong. Um, I will say, looking at red lights, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. And all of them, because you got to look like that. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, sir. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> oh, my God. That was like with ease. It went so sideways. It'll, it'll cut it. Oh, it'll my God. Worse. Oh, lose. that thing is sounding good. Just for everybody to know, we are in Mexico. Yeah. You got to let that be known. That's right. All right. <laughs> There's, we were uh, trying to get away from the cartel. That's all. Yeah, yeah, they were behind us. So, we're good though, man. That's exactly right. 
But Man. the guy is actually uh, the original owner is still paying for Sirius XM. I guess he just oh. he forgot. So. <laughs> Hey, not, I, ain't, I ain't like that. Nah, nah. I ain't got to like that either. XM is just something serious. That's something different, man. <laughs> any, any guy who pays for XM on his car and he's driving around, he's probably mm -hmm. not. Uh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh I felt that. <laughs> Goodness. He's probably not driving it that hard. Yeah, he, yeah, for sure. But now nah, it feels good, though, man. Oh. Oh, oh whoa. You. Come on now, lady. Yes, sir. That would have been terrible. Jeez. Yeah, that feels great. Oh my goodness. It does feel good. I mean, it literally, every single time you take a turn with this car, I mean, you can just feel the seat hug you. Yeah. Like, no, let's go this way. No, let's go this way. It's like, it's like just a scalpel. Yeah. I will say, 350R felt like that too. Okay, okay. It, it, felt, it felt like a scalpel as well. This is very responsive too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This feels responsive. And you know, this is still all gummed up. I mean, it's all factory. Yeah, right, right, right. right. It's, it's not really breathing. Yeah. Goodness gracious, guys. Oh, old school. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but, yeah, there's a couple of different gauges you can mess around with and play around with on here. Okay, um, okay. I like, I like seeing the boost gauge in the top right. Seeing, yeah, that's nice. The, that's nice. Three. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying this ride, man. This is, <laughs> I, I'm not even talking that much, guy. I'm just, you know, enjoying the field. And just like I said, this is my first time in the Z01. And it had to be the top of the line when this is my guys, man. So it's just, it's amazing. Just look at the carbon fiber. This does, yeah, this did have the uh, carbon fiber uh, interior patch in it. Right, right. Only thing I'm really kind of a little disappointed in in the interior is this Alcantara is pretty matted up. So uh, I gotta get, already I gotta get that taken care of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, when I bought it, it was kind of matted up. Okay. And I haven't had a chance to really get it. I gotta get PPF on it. For I gotta sure. Get PPF For on sure. It, and I gotta get um, that ceramic coat on there. So. Yeah, because people don't know, like, when you get carbon, well, not carbon, but when you have Alcantara, you're supposed to drive with driving gloves. Right. You know, yeah, and the, look at me. Look at right, me. all right. Yeah. So it's like your hands always get that kind of moisture and grease and everything. So it's going right to that. So people don't really understand or know that. Yep. For sure, for sure. That's exactly right. Man. But, you know, I mean, it's it's just amazing that Chevrolet can go out and run a 7 minute 16 Nurburgring time. Yes. In this car. Yes. You know, I mean, I'm, I think they had a little bit. They had a little more track focused orientations uh -huh. uh, for their chassis, but that they ran out in that car and a lot of good practice. But it's just unbelievable that it's just bang for your buck. It is, man. I mean, this car bang for your buck. Oh my god. Same with the 350R or just the 350s. Bang for your buck. Yeah. I mean, you're out there. I mean, you're not going to beat a GT4 RS around no, the track. No, right, all right. But if, you, if that person is not a very good driver, you will be. Yeah. You know? I mean, this it's, thing is it's crazy, crazy, guys. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you guys understand. Like, this is very, very stiff, <laughs> and it's like you can feel everything, and that's fun. I feel like that's the best part. You know, this is a driver's car for sure. You hear that? Those Brembo's are good. Listen to the downshifts, man. Goodness gracious, this is the perfect road for cruises. I need to get a cruise oh, set up on this road for sure. Oh yeah. I gotta get a cruise set up with some driver drivers though, you know? Yeah. So everybody can really have fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Nobody trying to do anything silly. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. You know, you had said something to me a long time ago. Um, it wasn't that long, but it was maybe like, it was a year ago by now yep. when I had that meet. Yep. Um, you, you came up to me, you told me some inspirational words, man. And I've, uh, you know, I appreciate that. I don't know if I ever told you how much that meant to me, man, when you said right. it to me. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. I meant it, brother. <laughs> I appreciate I it, man. I appreciate what you're trying to do out there. Thank you, man. Thank and, you. And uh, trying to make it at least family friendly, wholesome. I mean, yeah. trying yeah. to make it about the cars. Exactly, exactly. Not the culture. Not the culture. Right? Yeah. Not the cars. And Oof. It's just got to get it back to its roots. Yeah, for sure. And it, it, it will get there. It's a lot of guys. That on the same road with me that's you know trying to help it get back right but oh man i got some good information i might have to tell you off camera hold on guys
So many cars in Mexico, man. Yeah, at least. Yeah, for real, for sure. Love yeah, turns. No, I mean, everybody's talking about, you know, GT500, ZL1, yeah. Hellcat. They all do things great, in my opinion. I mean, yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of you them. You can't. You I really mean, can't. If you're going, if you're staying on the street, right, you can drive any one of them. Yes. Any one of them. Yes. When you, when you start going off of the track stuff, I mean, can you track a GT500? Yeah. You, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can mm -hmm. you track a Hellcat? Mm -hmm. Technically, yeah, mm -hmm. you can track anything. True. Yeah. With, with the Hellcat's front tires like that? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Man, we may begin a review soon with the GT500, my guy Brandon. So, the oh, comparison. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he's a great guy. Yeah, man. So, hopefully, we get that in. We've been in talks all for so trying to get together and do that. So, that'd be a good one to compare to, also. That'd be cool if we get the big guys out. You out, the GT500, and get a maybe a. I don't know, a red eye out or something like yeah, that. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, yeah, man. Well, I, GT500 red eye definitely smoke me. <laughs> Mexico straight line. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. But, you know, we can go to, we can go on to the track. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they, won't, they won't really last on that, on the track wise. But, uh, man, they got some pretty nice houses in Mexico, man. Goodness gracious. That's, I heard that was El Chapo's piece. <laughs> To eat. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of OB. Okay, so how much do you really kind of... Let me ask the camera. All right. How much do you think it's going to charge us over him, these pants, <laughs> to fill up this car? He's close to E. You guys see it. Guess right now in the comment section below when we're going to reveal it when we, uh, after he's finished. All right. All right. Okay, so why, is it, why is it a pet peeve? It's hideous. <laughs> Look at this thing. Camaro. <laughs> they could have been... a factory option. Really? I want... All my, all my buddies give me a hard time about this. If, so if anybody can get an Arctic Blue, just straight gas cap, yeah, I'll pay you for it. Please, I've been looking for one. Okay, we need, we need that. You guys heard it. We need that ASAP. Okay, would you guys guess it? 58 bucks, complete fill up. Not bad. Not bad, Not bad at all, especially yeah. with the high gas prices right now. That's so, pretty good. It was 411 a gallon. Or yeah. Four, yeah. 410 a gallon. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> the looks. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, turn some heads in this thing. My uh, my daily driver is a um, Toyota Celsius. Uh huh. And so it's right hand drive. Oh. And uh, my wife sits in the supposed to be driver's seat. Right, right. And she'll get the funniest look. <laughs> the funniest look. She'll do a double look, double check, cause she'll be on her phone mm -hmm. doing all this other stuff. <laughs> It'll pop up and you just missed it, but it'll pop up when I'm accelerating from in first gear, second gear, uh -huh. uh, or from first gear, it'll say, hey, you need to change gears. change gears to fourth gear. Oh, wow. So it'll, it'll. I don't know if it's like an actual mechanical like, lever that comes over and only allows me to go fourth or right. it's easier. I don't know. I haven't checked in to see how it works, but um, apparently the owner's manual says if you don't go to fourth when that pops up, you can at risk doing damage to your transmission. What? That's another reason I'd like a I'd like a tune. Apparently Janity Racing in Connecticut. Oh no, but anything with HP tuners, yeah. you, know, you can turn that setting on. So. Okay, good. Goodness great. It's a beautiful road. This is beautiful. Golly guys, look at these turns. Like Tell of the Dragon almost. <laughs> Golly. Woohoo! Making all kind of noises. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Bro, whoa, snap. It's like holding my like glue. Oh, snap. <laughs> yes, sir, the downshifts. Oh, yeah, you're a driver, driver. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I do love the track. That's my 
lots of people love the street. Lots of people love roll racing. I got yeah. mad respect for all. But, right, right. And drifting, whatever you want, but I really do like road racing. Yeah, that was some good driving right there, brother. Goodness gracious. You know, you know the road a little bit more than I know it probably. Because <laughs> I can't hold you. I was like holding on tight to the phone. <laughs> Oh, that was great, though, man. Goodness gracious. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the camera on once we get on to see my voice already getting a little shaky, man. Let me. <laughs> All right, guys, let me turn the camera on once we get on the interstate. We almost out of Mexico, so I'm going to turn the camera on when we get on the street. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> those gears man what i'm talking about it'll do so that's another thing that i kind of like in this car is it'll um it'll do flat foot shift no lift shift uh -huh. so anytime you go above 5500 rpm you put your foot on the clutch dang and, that's lit time. so in six gear on the regular z1s they will have uh it's a little bit longer it's uh -huh. a little bit longer so their their tachometer they're able to ride a little bit Okay. Uh, but for the Z01s uh, with manuals, it's geared a little bit harder. So you're kind of in the torque band always in six gears. So, I mean, you always got some oomph to go. Yeah. You always can get up and go. With okay. It. So gotcha. That's something, I mean, I don't think I'll ever be in six gear on the track. <laughs> right, right. On, on the tracks that I'm going on. Right, yeah, right. So, um, but I, I, that's, you know, another difference. It's, I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, you can always go to Dega, baby. Hey, you can always go to Dega. You can always go to Dega, man. Yes, sir. 